In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Google Sheets data inside of Canva, and I'll show you how you can display it in a visual looking way. This is pretty easy here, so follow along and I'll explain what you need to do. So I'm gonna to go to create a design in Canva. I'm gonna create a custom size project 1920 by 1080 just a blank project although you can put this on any project that you like now go to elements here on the left then scroll down until you see either charts or tables now you can add your data to obviously any of these we're going to add it visually so i'm going to use this basic chart but you can go see all on either of these and choose the element that works for you i'm going to choose though chart now what's going to happen is it's going to ask me to connect my google sheets so we need to go to Google Sheets down here and it's gonna ask me to connect it. Now I've already added my Google Sheets and connected it, but for you, what it will do is it will bring up your Google account. You click on the Google account that you've got your Google Sheets in and then you'll be able to see all of your recently opened. Click on the one you want to add. So I'm gonna click table for video example. It will then add that table. Now, if you notice here, this table is videos uploaded and month and this data isn't really displayed very good here. Now you wanna look here under where it says the name of your project and you need to tell it where the data starts and ends. So in my case, the data is gonna start on C4. So it's gonna start in the top left and then it's going to end in the bottom right, which is gonna be D10. So you can see here C4 and it ends in D10. So we'll go ahead and type here C4 colon D10. Then we'll click update and if you can see that, it's now updated the table. Now, if you go down here, you've got labels. So I've got videos uploaded and I've also got values. Now for the labels, I'm gonna change this to month. And then for the values, we're gonna keep it on videos uploaded. Now we've got the month down here and we've got the videos uploaded up here. And this is visually shown all of this data. That's done, right? We can also swap the rows and columns that might not work for your table though. You can go to color up here. You can change the colors of everything and you can move it around. If you go back to edit, you can edit things and you can also change how to display the data. Maybe we want a row chart here. So that's how you can do it. Make sure that you add where your table and data starts and ends and it should be working.